My name is David Pendergast. And I'm Ian Brown. And we are the founders of Agora Greens in Walpole, Massachusetts. We're growing a ton of things right now. We started off with just regular leafy greens, uh, bib and bambi lettuce. And then we decided to uh, expand and try arugula, watercress, which we're really excited about. And, uh, and we're really proud of our basil. Yep, a lot of herbs, kale. We experiment a little bit, although we're running out of room to do that because there's such demand for, for the lettuce. But if a chef asks for um, you know, watercress, that's why we started doing watercress. And it's worked out great. We've had um, great feedback from a lot of the community. So starting this in a suburb in Walpole, we have a lot of uh, core restaurants, very local to us. Uh, so currently we sell from Dedham, Walpole, and Westwood. Um, we're expanding out, hopefully, out to Milton, to a bunch of different restaurants. Um, what homeowners like uh, when we get, engage them at farmers markets is that we're local and they love the story. Um, and then restaurateurs and business owners really enjoy the quality of the lettuce and, and knowing that they can get it readily available. Yeah, we're not bashful about walking into a restaurant unannounced and asking for the executive chef and sitting down starting a conversation and that's how it all started and uh, uh, our sort of sales pitch is that we we will grow you know thousands of head of heads of lettuce all year long in a totally green clean environment uh, the taste is excellent the quality is perfect uh, and you know we kind of go from there yeah a lot of the chefs have questions as to how we're going to be growing this year round and we try to describe the environment and the, uh, the container itself. Um, and then we kind of break out our produce and, and we start talking about the quality. Um, so what really, really helps is when we bring them to the site uh, and they walk it through. So they've seen the product, they've met us in their, their uh, restaurant and their kitchen, and then we have them over here at our facility. And um, they really, really take a, a liking to it. That's and we're almost at capacity for this particular farm. So we already know that we're going to need to purchase another farm for expandability. Um, we already know we have interest in other restaurants, so the demand's there. So we're just waiting to our break uh, point where we're completely at capacity and then bring on another farm. Uh, the goal on that would be not so much volume as far as number of restaurants, uh, but try to sell through um, firms that have two or three restaurants, you know, support their whole organization. And I think that'd be really exciting. You prove a concept with one chef that works at one restaurant and he's got um, um, counterparts in the other restaurants through that same firm and um, we think that would be a really good avenue for us. Um, and I think that would really help with the name brand and recognition staying local uh, and we can expand on a controlled basis. I s spent 30 years in the financial world in downtown Boston. That got a little tiresome schlepping downtown that, that every day. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was done with that uh, I started, like I'd mentioned, Agora Gardens. It was just me, a small company. We build organic raised bed vegetable gardens as a human resource benefit. And I've always been a gardener. And I've been um, landscaping and doing construction for about over 11 years. And so when I heard about this, it really excited me for kind of transitioning um, what I know for growing on other people's properties as far as you know, traditional gardens or designer gardens. Um, so it's kind of been a nice bridge for something I can do throughout the year um, and practice those skills. You know, we both have very successful businesses and then we're going to turn focus and start selling lettuce you know, at a few bucks a pound. Uh, so it didn't seem lucrative to people, they don't understand the scalability. Um, what we really enjoy was um, how we started our original businesses, which is cold calling. You know, we put our shirts on our hat and we fill our tote with our lettuce and we go right into a restaurant and ask for the manager and the chef and legit cold calling and talking about the process. It's just starting a brand new business from the ground up and that's exciting for me. Yeah, I, I sort of look at the long-term picture uh, that it's exciting to be involved with the future of agriculture. I mean, we just can't keep you know, growing agricultural products the way we do now. It's just unsustainable. Uh, and this could be the answer globally. So it's, a, it's an exciting thing to be a part of. I really enjoy, and I never really had tons of experience with this, I know David had a ton of experience with this, is, is actually starting something from seed and then seeing it through the life cycle. And the really, really um, fun part is taking it um, uh, to a restaurant and, and seeing the look on a chef's face and then actually seeing it plated. Um, even before you guys got here, I had 
my salad plated from a, a firm down the street where they made our salads. It was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it, that's the exciting part is actually seeing it from seed to finish and then, and then seeing that quality come through. I just like gardening. I, uh, the other thing, you know, I play a lot of golf, as Ian yeah. knows, and I don't want any of my golf friends to hear this, but if I had to give something up, it would be golf, <laughs> and I'd stick with the gardening. Yeah. That's how much I love it. So.